Sempre um negócio que é o mais hipócrita. Eita. Vigilante dos malucão. Dá pra nada nesse carro de trevo, tem que ir lá direto. I painted that in the dark. Magic, isn't it? This guy knew Ready to make a decision that will last forever? I was inspired by my trip to France. The guy before you had a naked picture of his mom done on his arm. Anyway, hit me up on Lightning later. You took that well. Yeah, something unique. Out of a catalog. Whatever, dude. That's art right there. That's a good one. Yep, looks good. I do oil on canvas, you know, besides cock piercings. That's a masterpiece. I'm good. Your body is a canvas. Pick some art. You know, you're not much of a bleeder.
see. Good lord, what's wrong with you? No molas, eh? I'm the yeah. Wow. I miss you already. What the f word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my g damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the f is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah. With every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you! I've got a career! I don't need this! 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 Crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear! You're crap, Floyd! Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friends. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Boy's trip! Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got. You got syrup? Yeah! Syrup. Accident. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... and and you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving a cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a in here. The Congo did get messy. Anyone, anyone, except me. Look, this is it. So, 
This is where Floyd is gonna meet us at strip club? Oh, yeah. That guy like him, he's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there, and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Yes, she said, got the cubetis. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Se ele pegasse o carro de volta. that you want me to perform. Yep. I'll put it like this. It ain't gonna rust, okay? You got great taste.
This will give you some more zip. This is the same stuff they use on armored cars, you know. for the mature Not gentleman. So, you know, they're surprisingly comfortable. All quality merchandise, I can personally assure you of that. a selection, isn't it? Couldn't have picked better myself. I guess. Man, these young cats is crazy, you know? Yeah, brother. Yeah. My boy Mike, good to see you. What's good? Cousin Floyd says hey, strip up, clubs objectify women, but you ain't objects, you're people. How about we take this party to the back? You want a special dance? Just for you? Let's go somewhere with a little more privacy. I rock any color I want. Hell yeah! God damn! Yeah.
Chandrail's got a mad fine. You look like you need That's a dance up. to unwind. Coming? Heck fine. Hey, yo, what up, man? Hey, homie! What's up, girl? Hey. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. It's a big one. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas. Clap, clap. Getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground. That's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. But I picked up a few things rolling with you. Wait, you and Trevor behave? Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dog. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I could help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate.
86 inside. Stand by. 
Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! So how you feeling about this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And Willie? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies. Bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't. Ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. All right, holla at him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch.